Okay, so we are going to add sounds today and uh, background. We'll start with a background. Uh, we're using our existing game. I'll show you real quick what we've got without the background. Okay, oops. We can get rid of the stones that are trying to hurt us. We lose lives. The game ends. We do not want to play again right now. So we're going to spice it up with a little bit of uh, with the background and sounds. So to add a background, I'm going to right click on backgrounds, create background, and I'm going to choose um, the prefix BCK for background, and I'll just call it background main. You might end up with other backgrounds on other levels. I will load the background. Um, in this case, in the Game Maker 8 folder, there is a, a uh, directory of backgrounds which you may use. Um, here are some examples. I happen to really like this one, so I'm going to use that. And there it is. I have to actually add that to my room under backgrounds. And I can just select it here. And now I have my background. Okay. Now when I play my game, you're going to much more want to buy it than you did before. And there we go. Isn't it nice? It seems to have made it harder. Not really though. Okay, so I have my background. Now we're going to add a few sounds. Now a game like this, in my opinion, should probably have three sounds. One would be a main background music sound, which a lot of games have. One would be a sound that when I, when the uh, stone crashes into and hurts me, there should be a sound. And when I click on and get rid of one of the stones, there should be a sound. So we'll deal with three different sounds. So I'm going to right click add sound, S and D, and I'll call one music, which will be our first one, and I'm going to load a sound. And again, if I'm looking in the Game Maker 8 folder under sounds, there are a lot of options here you can play around with. Under tutorial 1, there happen to be three sounds that will work for our purposes. I'm going to start with music.mid, hit OK, I'll test it. Beautiful. Okay, so there's my first sound. Now, the question becomes, when do I want the sound to start? Any ideas? Uh, Pratik? When the game starts. When the game starts, sure. So I think that's under object ball, game start. Now, under main one, there is the ability to add sound. And we said it's going to be, that's the sound, sound music. Now, should it loop, do you believe? Yes. So the background sound is probably one of the only ones that you would have loop, and that's going to be loop true. Now I'll play, whoops, hit OK, play my game again. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, but again, oops. Now we need the sounds, like I said, for when I click on a stone or when a stone hits me. So we're going to add two more sounds. We'll add SND, uh, we'll call it crash, and that'll be the one when, the, when they hit us. That's explosion, okay? And then while I'm at it, I'll just add my second, next sound, or my third sound. Sound, click, and that's going to be when I click on the, the stone, okay? So now, again, the important thing is when do these play? Well, the, we're still in our object ball here. When we collide with the stone, what do we want it to do? Play which sound? The crash, which was explosion. So sound crash, do we want that to loop? No, definitely not. Then when we left click on the stone, that's when we want sound, whoops. When we left click on the stone, we want sound um, click. And should that loop? No. no. So now let's see how our whole game looks and sounds.
You hear that? Can you hear the crash? Makes me want to keep clicking on them because of the lovely sound. And there we go. Okay? You get it? So now your job is going to be to add three sounds to your game. One when it starts, one when you click on the stone type thing, one when the thing crashes with you, and a background. You may begin.